I'm just going to do a quick introduction and rundown about my mounts. The majority of them are on uh, inorganic, it's just a PVC, what's supposed to be a plate and uh, like a placemat cut to size. And here is Dendrobium tortile. It is doing absolutely amazing. And you will hear background noises. You got Siliano in the background. Thierry Henry might also bark. And then whatever the neighbors are getting up to while we're enjoying this beautiful sunny day after a couple of days of rain. It's gorgeous out today. So Tortilla is doing well. I will uh, change the moss when I see new roots. I have a couple of new growths there. So when they show some roots, I will change them. But uh, the thing that's really the main action down here are all the buds that I've got coming. Lots and lots of buds. So they'll be out soon. A recent uh, purchase just kind of arrived. It's been with me a couple of months. I have not changed the mount yet. I don't know what stage this dendrobium is at in its development, so I'm watching it, getting to know it, learning about it. It's a bit more fleshier in its canes than others. Um, yeah, I have to spray it quite a lot when the temperatures get like today. We have about 23 degrees today, which is gorgeous, but uh, yeah, this is, I'm watching it. I don't want to move it just yet. Let it acclimatize, see some new growth at some point. We'll see what it does. So this is polyanthum, dendrobium polyanthum. Some neighbors are anosmum and Victoria regina, which is doing very well, both of them. The only one that is uh, more of my concern is this anosmum. I'm waiting for new growth before I even touch and change that moss. But the Victoria Regina has been creating new roots from this keiki. And now it's coming out with two new growths. And it's extended its canes facing the other way towards the glass. But uh, it's done really, really well over the winter. I bought it last year, September, October, and uh, just left it outside to get used to being cold. And then as the temperatures rise in the evenings, I will actually bring it inside where it's a bit cooler. So that's Victoria Regina. And an anosmum that I can't really write home about. But yeah, let's see what it does. Here's Brassavola tubercolata. It's a species and it has dried up one growth. But there's another one pushing out on the bottom there. Very difficult to see against the moss, but it's right there. So let's see how this one does. It's not been a very um, active plant since in my possession for two years now. The moss was recently changed. It's already gone green with algae, so I might have to do that again. I'm just waiting to see about new roots. Next to it is Flagerales. Flagerales. This one's doing pretty well, has not bloomed for me. Uh, the moss was also changed recently, um, but it's putting out new growths. There's two pieces on here. This is a new growth. A little bit smaller developed over the winter and down here it is now working on another growth right there so we'll see what this one does its neighbor is dendrobium exile or exile all these mosses were changed at the same time so this has been acclimatizing it bloomed for me last year and then the canes all dried up and I cut them off except one. And it might, that might be a bloom right there. I'm not quite sure. 
it may be, but it's got a new growth coming and it worked on this new growth throughout the winter. Yeah, we've got neighbors outside playing in the sun. And then here is um, Sir Coxinia, Cattleya Coxinia or Sophronitis Coxinia. It's bloomed, it had two blooms for me this year. So this is its second bloom. Absolutely gorgeous. No fragrance, but the color is amazing. And they last for at least eight weeks, if not 10. And next to it is uh, Cernue, Sophronitis or Cattleya Cernue, which is doing quite well. It bloomed profusely over the winter, and now, it, after a bit of rest, it is starting on some new roots. I'm sorry about the light. I can hardly see on the reflection here, but I hope you can see some detail of the plant. Clea Graziana Alba. So I have some older blooms that are still very fragrant, but they've lost their purplish hin hin hue. Usually the petals and sepals have a much more profuse purple in them. You can see a little bit of the remnants of purple there on the newer blooms. But I also have some buds coming right on this side. I find this plant extremely thirsty to be on a mount, but I didn't want to change it because at this point when I mounted it again, you can see how I've got these leaves, the concertina leaves. I don't know, I can't say lack of watering. It was just on the remount, very strange. Has a great root system, is constantly wet, and yet that happened anyway. So next time, maybe next year, I'll pluck up the courage and uh, split it and put it into a um, self-watering setup with ceramics because it is that thirsty. It's pretty though, it smells gorgeous, like fancy talcum powder. On here I have Senua, Dendrobium Senua and Serratilabium, which uh, I'll and put some pictures up. So that's these two. Serratilabium is producing some buds, which I find difficult to see. But they're there. There are some buds that are kind of showing. They take forever to develop. And then here is Periardii or a film, where I've just stuck cakeys back on top. But it is going to be quite a display, I would say. It's coming. It's coming. It's working on it. And it should be a pretty show in a couple of weeks. So that is a film or periardii, Serratilabium and Cernua. We have a little ways to go before this plant can actually sustain the bloom. So I will be nipping this one off because it's already browning. There, I'll nip that off soon. But it is a very beautiful miniature and it's growing well on its little makeshift mount. I find these mounts much easier for me in the summer because I can, I'm sorry, in the winter, because I can, um, I can spray them from the back and I can protect the crown. There's a new leaf coming. Good stuff. So that's Orangus fastuosa. Bitsy bitsy teeny weeny little Phalaenopsis wilsonii. True miniature. Shame. Last year I got two more leaves to grow and then in one wind I thought I had protected it while I had it outside and one wind uh, storm it ripped off the leaves. The newest leaves of course so I'm hoping I'm hoping the crown isn't damaged but I do have a spike coming so we'll have to see about that. I keep it evenly moist and because it's so tiny this mount feature helps me as well because I can spray the back that makes it easier and I can control the crown a little bit more so I hope I'm just keeping fingers crossed that it's not a goner simply because of the ripped off leaves it's um, Arengus Mr. Sivii which shows some burn marks I guess I got it too close to the light at one point 
very strange. I thought it was way, way away, but anyway, there we go. I damaged those leaves. When I remossed it a couple of months ago, I didn't take it off the mount. I just picked out the moss and then struck some, put some new one on. And still it dumped four leaves. I didn't even touch the roots. To my understanding, I didn't touch the roots. I just put new moss on. It was a big bushy plant and promptly dumped four leaves. But now it's growing a new one. So we're back in business and the root is coming out as well, an, an elongated one. It, it, it grew from an old root, which it normally doesn't do. So let's hope. I have, I think, another root growing in the back there. So there's that. At least there's some positive action and it's forgiven me for ruining its moss bed. And here I have two newcomers, even though actually it's only one. It will only be one by the time I'm finished with them, when they get going and show me what they're up to. This is uh, Dendrobium unicum. Supposedly blooms with pretty, pretty bright orange flowers. Unfortunately, this May big, big cane, it snapped at the base. So I'm not doing anything with this plant. Both of them, watching them, getting to know them. One has a new growth coming, but no new roots. So it's gonna stay they're both gonna stay as they are until I see what they do. I don't wanna lose these. I wanna see if I can make them bloom. And I see that there is a fungus gnat right there, get off. All right, so that is two Dendrobium unicums. One I bought as a replacement in case the one with a snapped cane sulks so bad that it's gonna go downhill. Let's keep our fingers crossed and I'll make it. One more. This is Podandis Podangus Dactyloceros. I've also had this one for two years. It blooms with white, tiny white flowers that are like glass in their appearance. They're sort of transparent white. It's, I would love to see them in, for real. I'm getting a little bit of uh, problems with the root production, so I'm very pleased about the one on, on the bottom there. It's coming out. The one on the top stopped growing. So this mount is new, the moss is new. Hmm, we'll have to see. I hope Podangus stays around. I'm working on it. I love this little plant. Push comes to shove, I might actually just take it off the mount and stick it into some ceramics. But anyway, there we go. Those were my mounts. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, bye.